So I worked on this dresser recently. This dresser has a missing um, pulls. It's broken. It's really damaged. The top is super scratched. There are paint um, stains, stickers, everything you could think of. It's really, really in bad shape. And one of the drawers is obviously popped out and broken. The bottom two drawers are misaligned. They are they were missing something, either the stoppers or the little line slider that, that goes in the middle. But all of that was for me to take care of. As for the broken drawer, luckily we had all the pieces there and it's one of these uh, good quality of drawers uh, usually where they have the little um, teeth that connect to each other and makes it just a stronger bond. So I went ahead and glued it and used nail guns to put it back together. After vacuuming the drawers and cleaning it lightly, I needed to fill all these tins and the missing veneer parts everywhere so that I can finally start sanding and get to work. Next was removing all the poles and knobs so that I can clean the faces of the drawers um, before I start sanding. And because it had missing uh, poles, I had to either find something that's similar or cover um, the entire drawers with new knobs. But I decided to close the top two since they were really thin and I had a single pole in the middle. So they have a mismatch drawers. Next I grabbed a scraper and I started scraping all the pieces that were on the top because that will just waste my uh, sanding paper for nothing. So I removed all the tape, I removed all the paint that was on top of it, wax, whatever that I found so that it has a smoother surface for me to sand. So I went ahead and patched up the holes for the two drawers because I didn't have anything that's the same size and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna drill holes for the new knobs and the top two will be different from the rest which is common in my case. Um, fix that drawer, just waiting for it to dry and I'm gonna need to give it a really good sanding so that I can make those patches flush. I also patched up this area and the bottom right there because it was missing some veneer and hopefully after I'm done sanding I can paint and maybe I'll just choose a common color for all of them. This is what the top looked like after I scraped off all the dirt and paint and tape and next is sanding. When I started sanding this dresser, I was surprised on how the top was looking like. The grain was amazing, so I decided to go ahead and sand it all the way through. And because it was super damaged, it wasn't so much work to sand it that deep. And the result is amazing. I then had to scuff sand and it was super easy to just sand everywhere except for the top two drawers because I had to flush the bondo. I then taped the top so that I can protect it while painting the bottom. Here I was applying a primer and I was using the bin primer um, just so that nothing leaks through while I paint so that I can later apply more paint.
because I was working at night, everything was really not drying and it was giving me a hard time drying. So I left it for the next day and I started uh, giving it a, a light sanding so that when I paint again, I will have more surface for the paint to adhere to. In between coats, I was uh, spray painting the poles and knobs so that it is all beautiful and ready for me to apply. I used the espresso verthane wood stain so that I can stain the top and I loved this decision. It's beautiful, it looks like a butcher block. I'm in love with this top. It was finally time for me to put the poles and knobs back to the dresser and the combination of black, white and brown is everything. Here are the end results. This dresser cost me about $50 in material. The paint was $28, spray paint was $3, and the stain is about $5, and gas. That's how I came up with the $50, and I sold it for $350, so I profited a good $300 out of that, and do the math to know how much I made per hour. But again, a result like this is everything to ask for. Imagine the transformation that I went from broken, brown, almost trashed into this. Uh, again, if you'd like to see more makeovers like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like, follow my Instagram at furniture underscore makeover for more makeovers like this. Have a great day.